So here we are, right in the middle of Shrewsbury, and I'm looking for swifts, and I can't actually see any at the moment, but they will be around. And here, right in the middle of a town, is one of the most wild birds in the entire world. Swifts spend their whole life on the wing. Swifts feed on the wing, sleep on the wing. They preen their feathers, turning their heads 180 degrees, and they even mate on the wing. But the one thing they can't do is lay their eggs in the air and raise their young. So for that, they have to find a little small dark hole under the eaves of a building and make a little nest and raise their young there. This is absolutely peak time for swifts. The birds that arrived in May with the breeders, but over the last few weeks, there have been more and more swifts arriving and they're the birds that hatched out last year and the year before. And they've come here to find their own nests and to find a mate and to perform those wonderful joie de vivre fly paths over the rooftops. They're called the common swift and they still are relatively common but really sadly their numbers are declining and they've fallen by over 50% in the last 20 years. So what's the problem? Two things that we know about. One is loss of insects and the other is loss of nest spaces and we're blocking off their holes. We're blocking off the access to their holes in the roofs and we need to ensure that we retain those holes and put in new ones. We need a wilder world. We need there to be more insects, not just for swifts, but for all kinds of wildlife and for human beings as well. This is why the Wildlife Trust and many other organisations across the whole world are campaigning for 30% of land and sea to be dedicated to nature by 2030.